can you introduce yourself and the organization that you're working for? I'm Kuka Kalamba, and I represent uh, Green Agriculture Youth Organization. We provide market linkage, education, as well as training, and many other aspects of uh, agriculture and also uh, sustainable uh, environmental practices. And could you share how are you practicing dynamic accountability in your organization? What have been the benefits and how, how it looks like there? For us, dynamic accountability is putting the people in the forefront let they uh, make the choices and you'll be the people that really amplify their choices or their voices so for us we are in the background and we let the people take the lead the community members to take the lead we try as much as possible to learn from the community because they are the ones that know what is on the ground so it is easy for one who's on the desk just uh, Google or some sort of desk research. But when it comes to actual work, the people that are on the ground know what they want. So if you involve them in as uh, much, uh, in, a, in as many programs as you are doing, if they are involved, I'm sure you're going to have a very uh, good outcome in terms of what you are trying to achieve. So you remember, if you are saving the people, let the people tell you what they want to be saved from. So I think for us, dynamic accountability is really involvement, not only for to the people that we are saving, and also the uh, internally. It could be the board members or the people that were working, for example, with you, uh, Lopez. That is also dynamic accountability where we are going to be learning from each other and look at all our strengths and also trying to boost uh, our weaknesses. So I think dynamic accountability really on community levels, uh, letting the people uh, decide what they want and letting them be the, 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 in the forefront of uh, decision making. And for, for us, it's just going to be co-creation of ideas, locally led ideas. What would happen if people are not acting in a dynamic, accountable way? What would happen to the actions of the organization? If people are not involved in uh, that project, uh, they, there's no sense of honor and there's no trust in that regard. So if anything goes wrong, they said, no, well, we're not involved in this, so why should we care? But if you get go and say, this is actually yours, so you have to treat it like you say, oh, your own baby. I'm sure the people will have, will have a sense of ownership and they will strive uh, and they'll go out their way to see that what you are doing is uh, what the project is demanding for is uh, achieved. Even when you leave, that project is still going to go there because there's that sense of ownership. So you find oftentimes projects fail because you leave a project there, but if there's no sense of ownership, people have abandoned that and said, okay, there was this thing, but we do not know much about it. But if they're involved, they're happy to say that, okay, these people are respecting our voice and our views, and they're going to strive in as much as, uh, yeah, and as, much as possible to protect that which they feel that have uh, been uh, added to.